And now at 5.30, a widow demanding answers from state police about her husband's death. Well, investigators say just minutes before that man was killed in a motorcycle crash, a state trooper had pulled over the accused drugged driver that caused the accident. WBZ's David Robichaux has the story. As a grieving family from Bedford looked on, Linda Wolf, a woman with a long history of drunk driving, was charged with motor vehicle homicide while under the influence in the death of Christopher Weish, a father of three. My kids are without their father for the rest of their lives because of Lynn's actions. On August 24th last year, police say DeWolf's 2008 Saab crashed into this red sedan driven by an 85-year-old woman on I-95 in Reading. That car was pushed into Christopher Weish's motorcycle, killing him. DeWolf fled the scene, and when she was arrested, she failed a field sobriety test and told state police she had taken lorazepam and painkillers. Nothing will bring Chris back, but... Um, she needs to have some consequences. Alexis Weish says that Linda Wolf's not the only one responsible for her husband's death. Earlier in the day, several drivers called state police complaining that DeWolf was driving erratically, but a dispatcher never put out the call. Then DeWolf was involved in a rear end collision. A trooper showed up. He said she was not impaired and let her go. 19 minutes later, Christopher Weish was killed. I think the state police officers that did not do their job properly that day, um, they need to be held accountable. Uh, being docked one day pay is not enough. State Police Colonel Kerry Gilpin ordered an independent investigation into her department's handling of the crash. DeWolf left court refusing to answer my questions. She is under house arrest, only allowed out to attend AA meetings and receive treatment for addiction. In Woburn, David Robichaux, WBZ News.